Well, thank you everyone for having me here this evening and thank you for joining us. Um, I love to talk, so I wrote a few things down so that I didn't go over my time here, and so if you'll bear with me. Um, I'm most excited about all the students that are in the house today. Uh, we're very happy to have you. So as Dr. Ruiz mentioned, uh, my name is Kim Chavez, and I'm the Director of Development here at La Plaza. And if today is your first time visiting La Plaza, welcome. Um, La Plaza is a county museum, and uh, we opened in 2011. And we are dedicated to celebrating our heritage, to celebrating Mexican, Mexican-American, and all Latinos' contributions to Los Angeles' past, to the present, and of course, to the future. So if, uh, if, you, have, if you haven't visited before, we hope that you'll come back. And uh, as you can see, our mission aligns very closely with the Mexican-American Cultural Education Foundation. So Director of Development, what is that? What is my job? What does that mean? Uh, that means that I work in philanthropy. I work in, in uh, institutional advancement, in finding people who are interested in our mission, who are interested in what we do, and who want to align with us and help support that mission and help the organization move forward. So um, how did I get to this career that I love? But more importantly, how do you get to, uh, to doing something that you love and to where you want to be? So, the purpose, basically, of these conversations, of having these uh, role models of success and these pearls of wisdom, is to help to get you where you want to be and to tell you a little bit about what I've learned or people like me have learned along the way. So what do other people know? What do non-Latino people know and do? How do they get to where they are? That's kind of the big question, right? When you see somebody that's really successful, you think, God, how did they get there? So. What if I told you, as Dr. Rees mentioned, that there are some simple steps to success? There are important steps to success. And I say simple, but then you know how people say, oh, I want to get healthy. What should I do? You should just exercise every day, right? That's a simple thing, but it's really hard to do, even though it's something that makes so much sense. So uh, there are four steps that I consolidated. I'd start out with five, and, uh, and they're pretty straightforward. And the very first and at the top of my list is mentorship. Get a mentor. Get lots of mentors, actually. Get mentors that look like you. Get mentors that don't look anything like you. And uh, I look into the room, and I see a lot of my own mentors here today. So I'm very, very grateful for that. But uh, does, anybody, does anybody follow Me Too? Do you guys know about Me Too? Do you ever see their posts? Sometimes I see their posts, and I think, oh my god, they know exactly what my family's like. They know exactly what I'm feeling. They know exactly what's hilarious and what I like, and why, as a Mexican, I like sweet, spicy, and painful in my mouth all at the same time. Like, they, they get that kind of stuff. And so it's important for you to find a mentor that gets you, that understands you, that understands why, if you're applying to go to school in New York, and you're really nervous about it, and your parents are nervous about it, they're going to understand where you're coming from. And they're going to understand what you're feeling, and they're going to guide you through that process. And they're also going to understand how your parents are feeling, because maybe they experienced that, or their parents experienced that. So it's also important to get mentors that don't look like you, because those individuals have lived a different path, have uh, taken different channels, and can introduce you to experiences and to things that you might have never known about, or, um, you know, uh, thinking about a situation in a different way, maybe because they were raised differently or because their culture is different. So it's important to have all this feedback coming from different places, right? So mentors help take your ideas further. They help you with hard decisions. They provide options. And you know the big thing is finding mentors who have attained goals that are similar to yours. Um, or you know something that, that you want to do that someone else has done, it's important to kind of ask, how did you get there? Look at their routine, and then try incorporating some of those things into your own routine. You know, Ask them, what do you do in the morning? What are your interests? What are your hobbies? Ask a lot of questions, and then let them do the talking. And the more they talk, the more you'll learn. So the second step. Actually, before I jump to the second step, what about these mentors? Like, you know, everyone says, get a mentor. Where do you get a mentor from? I'm always, where, where do you find these people that are going to help you through all of this, right? You've come to the right place, because you're in a room full of people that want to talk to you about what they've done and who want to guide you through that process. Uh, another, another source is think about a teacher that you might have a special connection with, someone that you, know, you trust and that, uh, that you respect, or a coach. And if you don't have anyone or you can't think of anyone, then call me, and we can find someone together. But that's really important. 
And, uh, and so make sure that you start thinking about that before you move forward because that mentor is going to help you get there. So the next step is internships. Have you guys heard of internships? Get an internship. Get lots of internships. Internships basically mean that you're going to be put in a situation or provided with experiences that you may not have had if you weren't in that place. So we all have experiences, but um, you know, on a daily basis, we're learning about what we like, what we don't like, uh, how to, you know, what we're good at, what we're terrible at. And internships provide us those opportunities to learn and to you know, get hands-on experience. Um, but you know, the important thing is that if we don't spend time doing this learning and having these experiences and then taking what we learned and applying it to our own lives, then this is all. This meeting, everything that we're doing is really for nothing. Because if you're not going out there and trying it and then learning from it, if you're not learning from other people's experiences and other people's mistakes and you know, all the things that you're trying every day, then it's just going to be more difficult. So there are a lot of us that are born knowing, I want to be a doctor, or I know for sure. I'm five years old and I want to be a dancer. But there are a lot of us that are born not knowing exactly what we want to do. We don't have one specific clear goal. And internships help us because by providing those experiences, they narrow that path and they point you to something that you might really enjoy doing. So step three, get out of your comfort zone. If you're here tonight, then maybe you're already doing something that's different and out of the ordinary for you, right? But what does that mean? What does is, what is getting out of your comfort zone mean? So doing something that makes you a little bit scared, doing something that you've never done before, introducing yourself to a stranger, you should do that today, um, setting up a, a plan, learning something new. Are you going to learn how to use a new computer program, or are you going to go and hike in a new area? Just going to somewhere different. And the last step, right, these, these have gone by very quickly, is don't stop what you're doing. Keep trying. Keep going. And um, the one thing that I know for sure, because I'm standing here, and I'm standing in this museum, and uh, I think that a lot of the things that Dr. Rees mentioned earlier today all point to this, is that we have grit. Latinos have grit, right? And that's passion and determination. And that means that we just keep going. And no matter what happens, no matter what obstacles or hurdles we face, we just keep at it. And the good thing is that if you know that uh, if you just keep trying that success is inevitable, then at least it makes you feel like you're not wasting your time, right? So. I know that each of you have an idea or a dream inside you that you want to get out and that the path will be bumpy and that you'll face hardships. Um, but when you do face those, go back to step one and then let you know, your path lead you to your success. So.